So we're battling out Network Plus versus Security Plus today. And I want to point out that these are two great certifications. Both are provided by CompTIA. There's a slight difference in price between the two. They're both fundamental or foundational certifications. Uh, but I think there is a little bit of a difference between the role that you really want to take and whether or not this certification is going to be helpful for you. So Network Plus really concentrates on networking, right? We're talking about network architecture. We're looking about how a network functions. How does the router function? How does it interact with the switch, the router? How are the cables treated? How do you wire the cable? It looks at wireless networking strategies. It looks at wireless networking and what channels we utilize. It covers some basic concepts for network security. But overall, this certification is concentrated solely on how does the internet function from my client all the way to the server? How does it interoperate with one another? And this certification really revolves around key positions, network administrator, network technician, uh, and believe it or not, yes, even a little bit of that help desk technician. Uh, network Plus from CompTIA, it really is a decent certification. And it's one that I often tell my students, especially if they're getting started into uh, IT and even cybersecurity, that you should be strongly looking at. Total cost, $369. Um, I assume this is going to go up pretty soon, uh, and it wouldn't surprise me at all. Now, the great news is if you're academic, which means you have a .edu email address, you can usually get about a 40% discount on the certification if you go through the right website. Uh, and you have access to that EDU email. So how does that differ from, say, Security Plus? Well, Security Plus is all about security fundamentals. It's actually, in my personal opinion, an easier certification than Network Plus. But it covers a lot of the same things as far as understanding uh, network or hierarchy. So you need to understand what a switch does. You need to understand what a router does. You need to understand the cables, but you don't need to under necessarily understand but you don't necessarily need to know routing tables. You just need to know that routers do have tables and how they're utilized, but you don't need to program the routing table. You don't need to go into such detail that you do with, say, networking. With networking plus, you need to understand wireless networking hierarchy. You need to understand, hey, these are the channels. If I'm operating on these three separate channels, then I don't have any interference and I don't have any loss of bandwidth. Uh, you need to understand that all with Network Plus. With Security Plus, you just kind of need to know that, yeah, it's, it's Wi-Fi. Uh, and that this is how we secure it. You need to understand encryption. You need to understand protocols. On both of those, you need to understand protocols, but a little bit more in depth, believe it or not, with Security Plus than, say, Network Plus. Security Plus really concentrates on threats and threat actors. What are the threat names? What is the difference between an APT, an advanced persistent threat, versus uh, a hacktivist? What are vulnerabilities and what is a CVSS? How does that integrate with an attack and what are attacks? What are the different types of attacks? You need to understand risk management and mitigation strategies. You need to understand policies. Uh, we're talking about the, the administrative policies from acceptable use policy to physical security policy to compliance. You need to understand cryptography and which algorithms are used in cryptography and the difference between symmetric encryption versus asymmetric encryption. You need to understand network application and operational security, uh, which is a little bit more theoretical than what you see in networking. And so a lot of students seem to believe, or and I'm one of them, that Security Plus is actually an easier certification because it doesn't go into the weeds like, say, Network Plus does. Now, if you're finding this helpful, I would really appreciate, of course, that like, that subscribe, and that bell icon. You'll often hear me say, especially the brand new college students, go get Network Plus first. You should be getting it your sophomore year. And then I usually tell students, get your Security Plus by your junior year, and then pick another certification for your senior year. That way, by the time you graduate with your bachelor's degree, you've got three certifications and you're ready to rock and roll. It's gonna put you in a very strong state to go get that job, right? Uh, so what kind of jobs can we associate with, say, Security Plus? What kind of jobs associate with that? Well, SOC analyst is the easiest one. Security analyst, IT auditor, uh, those are going to be the top threes on there. Now, normally, I know some students are going to go, wait a minute, wait a minute, I want to be a pen tester. Well, this is the foundation that you would need to start that pen testing. But I would actually say that Network Plus uh, is something that you need to know because you need to know how networks function in order to break into them. Now... Often I get a question like, do I have to have Network Plus before I can work on Security Plus? And no, you really don't. They're both really great certifications. Uh, Security Plus, uh, US $404, $404. Of course, you can get a break with that price with, again, that academia associated with it. Uh, big differences between the two. If you've ever watched my video for CYSA versus Security Plus, 
It's basically the same except in reverse. Network Plus is a much more technical certification than Security Plus is. Security Plus is very much a theoretical certification. There's a little bit of technology in there, but you're not expected to, say, fill out a firewall. You're not expected to go in there and be able to track down you know, different command lines. Whereas Network Plus, you're expected to have a basic understanding of the command line. You're expected to read a log. Uh, now with Network Security Plus, you're still expected to know how to read a log, but a baby log, not, not a full-blown log, and then understand everything that goes along with it. Uh, when it comes to the two certifications, which one do I usually push towards somebody that says, I've only got enough for one? Well, it, it's not as simple as that. It really is what direction do you want to go. If you're more interested in network security, if you're more interested in uh, networking in general, I would actually push you towards Network Plus. If you're more interested in doing the security aspect of it, you really want to do cybersecurity, and that's really the direction you want to go, then Security Plus, because after all, it is for security. I don't believe, and this is my own personal thoughts, I don't believe Security Plus by itself is going to get you a job. I think I've, I've straight out said that numerous times. It is needed to get through the HR gateways, right? But most people that have Network Plus, if you're trying to go for a networking position, if you're trying to go for uh, that type of role without security, I believe Network Plus will actually get you a little bit farther than, say, Security Plus will. Does that mean you could just blow off Security Plus? No, unfortunately you can't. It's so, it, it, they did such a great job with their marketing and how they, they went around with Security Plus that it's almost required in a lot of different positions, especially for DOD, especially for uh, a lot of government agencies, right? And so you almost have to have it. It's not an overly difficult certification either. Uh, typical timeline to pass Security Plus, I'd say about six weeks. Typical timeline to pass to Network Plus, and this is with no past experience or knowledge, right? Uh, I'd say 10 weeks. 10 weeks is probably a good, a good point. And so you can see in my mind that Security Plus is just an easier certification when it comes down to it. Now, that's going to vary based on what you do. And I hear this all the time, again, from students. They're like, well, I started it six weeks ago, and but I'm not ready. And it's like, okay, well, how much study do you need to do? Oh, well, you know, an hour here, an hour there. Okay, when I say six weeks, I mean you're actively studying for it over six weeks, right? We're not we're not doing one chapter here and then, yeah, okay? Um, I will tell you that two months is probably pretty average for people that are not driven to go through it. You could probably get through it. Uh, when it comes to Security Plus, there are some really good textbooks out there. There's also some really, really good Udemy courses out there that I can highly recommend. Same with Network Plus. But overall, I have to say that if I if I had to do it, if I was a brand new, never knew anything about cybersecurity and wanted to jump into cybersecurity, what would I do? I would do both. I really would. I would do Network Plus first, and then I would go after Security Plus. And the reason I say that is because everything that I learn in Network Plus will help me with Security Plus. Not everything that I learn in Security Plus will help me in Network Plus. And so I fully I fully state by that word, I would do Network Plus first, and then I would do Security Plus. I feel like you're going to get a lot out of it. I feel like Network Plus is a very good certification uh, when it comes down to it. All right, next time we're going to do CCNA versus Network Plus. We'll see you guys next time. I'm